them two pop-up yeah. videos. Thanks, man. Okay, why did you... No, why are you on top of me? Do you like when I'm this close to you? <laughs> no, Rudy, come on, seriously. No, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy! She really always asks me to get closer to her. Remove! Come on! Why are we closer? Rudy, Rudy, fix the fucking stuffed animal! I mean, fix the stuffed animal! Because we need to make this HGTV friendly. And go over there, please. Rudy? Rudy? Yes. Move over! Need a little elbow room. So we can pop into a pop up video. This is, this is make your video pop, okay? It's Alright, so. Ooh. Ready? Yep. No. Oh, so you can keep it here? Okay, good. Let's do it again. To get a point. I can't see it from there. Why do you have to see it? Why do you have to take it off your leg? Right there's fine? Because I don't like it there. Why not? Okay, fucking just, just do it. Holy shit. Here we go. It's recording. Ready? Yeah, yeah, it's recording. Huh? It's recording. What? It's recording okay. again. Cool. So we were talking about how it's not gonna affect our relationship. Oh, I'm just a... What's okay. the question? Tell us why you think we should choose us. Okay, so you start now. Use your answer right, and I, I will mean, add. I, I just wouldn't go so in depth. Into okay, so you, you start. So fine, that's fine, that's fine. So then you start. I want you to start it though. Okay, so why should you choose us, HGTV? Besides the fact that we're awesome. I thought, I thought that we shouldn't read the question, we should just answer the question. It says to repeat With the question. using okay. the question as. So, it, you should choose us because. <laughs> Okay, so you should choose us because we are awesome. Hello, Rudy! Come oh, on! We didn't start together. No, you started. Okay, we're ready to start? Okay, we're gonna start now. Okay. So, HGTV, you should. <laughs> <laughs> what? You ready? What? You ready to be serious? Ready to put the camera without a battery? Absolutely not. Come on. Where are we going? Okay, ready? It's late, guys. Yeah, it's way past our bedtime. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay. So, HGTV, you should choose us because we. Ready? <laughs> I thought I was Rudy. Rudy? Can it's we just been do it? It's been a long time she's known me. She calls me ready every once in a while. I don't get it. You ready? Rudy, 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 are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's go. And when you Where start are we going? We're going to go with the answering of the question to HGTV. Oh, okay. What's we the want, question? We want to tell them why they should choose us. See, I'm with we. I'm with it now. I get it. Okay, so go. Where? Rudy, come on! Just answer the freaking question. Why should they choose us? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Ready? Hmm. Yeah, this. I should be doing this. Ready? No, I should be. Uh, Rudy, come on! Seriously, I'm, I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, so HGTV, you should choose. My name is Rudy. I'm a union electrician. 26 years old. I'm Chloe. I'm going to be 21 in a week. I am an office worker by day and an alternative model by night and weekend. Very good model, by the way. Um, this is our first house. We bought it together probably about five months ago. November 24th, 2009. Never forget that day as long as I live. And, um, <laughs> soon into buying it, we noticed little problems here and there. and. Started fixing it up. So it turned Just turned into the whole house. <laughs> full renovation, oh, yeah. Everything renovation. And, um, let's see, uh, we met, I don't know, uh, we, actually we've known each other uh, pretty much all of our lives. Um, same town we grew up in and, you know. Yeah, they was actually friends with my next door neighbors my whole life. From yep. the time I was very small. Never. I don't know if we ever met, we don't know. We might have. May have, too little to know. And, uh, in any case, we, uh, we went to the same high school, and and uh, her fr her she was going out with uh, her boyfriend at the time, who was a friend of mine, and you know I knew of her through that. And then uh, years and years after that go by, and and uh, oh no no, before years <laughs> what, and years when go by. What was going on with that? Huh? While while she was dating that other guy, who uh, 
it was a friend of mine, we were all at a show, a local show, one of the bands, I don't, we don't remember the name, it's, you know. It was probably P.T. Graham. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> but in any case, uh, I was in a mosh pit, and, uh... Holly was standing too close to the mosh pit. Yeah, she, <laughs> you know, watching her boyfriend in the mosh pit, we were, you know, going crazy, and... I got kicked in the head. I kicked her right in the head, and, uh... You know, I'd never talked like, to her ever. Spine, you know. like to the point that like I couldn't really stand up. Good anymore. shot. <laughs> anyway, you know, I didn't know what happened, and her her boyfriend came up to me. He's like, "Dude, you kicked my girlfriend in the head." I was like, "What?" <laughs> he's like, "She's crying. She's just, just don't worry about. It. Just apologize to her. Say you're sorry." And I'm like, "Dude." And so I went over to her. She's sitting in a car crying, and I'm like, "I'm sorry." I think I told you to go away or something. And that was it. I just leaned in and said, I'm sorry. And I leaned no, I, out. I really think I told you to go away. And then I think you asked me, like, you were like, can I buy you a water or something? And then I was like, She's no. Trying to be no. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, that was the, our first actual verbal encounter was me kicking her in the head and then saying I was sorry. And uh, So anyway, years and years go by. And uh, we see each other again at some point. We start talking. This is the DMV. Could have been, you know, we start talking and, uh, and, uh, years and years later, uh, four years later, I guess we've been together. Had a couple. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, this is our home. Sort of. This, this is our house. It's not officially our home just yet. Yeah, I wouldn't call it home. Because, uh, we do live here, but it's, we live in this one small room, um, which you guys see, uh, in the rest of our video. And uh, it's very difficult. Yeah, I mean, we have to go. I mean, we can use the shower here, but we don't like to. We yeah. use it. I mean, we do. Bad. We do want to fit under it. We tend to go to my mom's house. We have to do our laundry there. We've got a shower there. Yeah. We're there half the time if we're not working or here. I so we kind of live I, here. I, I have a toothbrush here. I have a to toothbrush there. You know, it's a pain in the butt. Clothes here, clothes there. Clothes at his mom's house. Clothes at my mom's house. Clothes at you know everywhere. Yeah. So we live here when we can. We try to live here as much as we can. We try to sleep here every night, but. We still have our stuff all over the place, so until yeah. we've moved in, and this is, you know, it is what it is. Right. Um, well, anyway, this is uh, our first renovation. We have got total mixed feelings about it. Oh, yeah. Um, right off the bat, it's hard work, <laughs> and it's tough. You know, it takes so long. Long hours. Way longer than we thought. I mean, I was like, hey, let's move in in February. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not happening by any means. It's, it's uh, April 6th. April 6th. <laughs> um, missed that one a little bit. Um, you know, uh, anytime you try to do something, you, you you find out you can't do it by yourself half the time. You need a second set of hands. You gotta do this first before you, know, you do this. Then you gotta move this. Then yeah. Move these and, uh, six things to do that seventh thing. And yeah, and even, even planning what you're gonna do next is a task all in itself um, to say what's my next move it's like should I do this room first should I do part of this room before I do this room should I do electrical should I do plumbing should I do uh, yeah. air conditioning what, what should I do next and it's it's always tough to try and figure out and then and then you know it starts getting nice out we started in the winter and, mm. and then freezing and then freezing and then now that it got nicer out spring and now uh, it's like probably 80 degrees in this room right now. Right, yeah. <laughs> and uh, air conditioning's not turned on or hooked up yet. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we start doing stuff outside, so that adds a whole new um, plethora of things to do, you know. Um, taking up more time and getting the end result done. Um, but, you know, we keep trying and, and going at it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, every day is something new. Mm -hmm. We're always. Thinking of new ideas, do things change? We keep changing things. We keep changing things. That's like the problem. Is that we we have she some says ideas we, start but doing she things. Means she keeps changing. No, things. no, it's not only me. You change things too. No, no, don't say that. You know, it's it's very stressful, but fun. But yeah. it's very. We're, we're glad that we're doing experience. it because we're trying to do the right thing right off the bat. You know, make it right. We we, uh, we follow the uh, the Mike Holmes Bible. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it right. Sorry, Mike, if I'm disappointing you. I only know so much. Trying. Yeah, two books Watch downstairs. Watch you every night. <laughs> um, 